CBS Sports presents the 1993 John Hancock Bowl, the Texas Tech Red Raiders versus the Oklahoma Sooners. Today's game is sponsored by John Hancock Financial Services. MasterCard, it's more than a credit card, it's smart money. Head and shoulders and head and shoulders two in one. And by Energizer Brand Batteries. Halftime, Oklahoma leading Texas Tech 28 to 3. Oklahoma scored early and late in that first half. Texas Tech had the middle 20 minutes pretty much under control, but they could not score. And right now they have a big gap. They've got to come back, Randy. They really do. You know, Bam Morris, we came into the game saying it's the Bam and shoot offense. Well, right recovered by Texas Tech. That's the initial signal. Anthony Armour may have recovered the loose ball. We'll wait for the official second shot at a first down. Mars has already gained 22 yards in this half, and he dives for the touchdown. So Bam Morris, a factor as Texas Tech capitalizes on that Oklahoma fumble, and the Red Raiders get their first touchdown of the ball game. The Buck is standing already in Oklahoma territory. Not a good kick. And a fair catch called for by Marcus Coleman. So Blandon gets off his shakiest kick of the day. Only 30 come away at their second time in a row getting the ball in great field position and not getting anything out of it. They gotta get something here. 51 yard attempt by John Davis, who's already been successful from 22 yards. High snap. And Davis's kick is going to be off to the left and short, no good. So Davis, who did not miss inside 38 yards this year, misses from 50. Tech getting ready to tee off. Gundy gets hit as he lets go of it, and the pass is caught by Corey Warren. And wants to exhibit the prize. Warren. Gundy gets hit, and the pass is intercepted. It's Marcus Colvin. He is the Raider. Intercepts Gundy. Kale Gundy this year. A little play action, but not doing something to get him beat. Second and 13, and the pass is caught by Jawan Penny. Sophomore from Tulsa, Oklahoma, with a 17. There in the shadows here at Sun Bowl Stadium. Gundy's pass, and a fine catch by P.J. Mills. Percy James Mills, sophomore from Eden, and a down and two on the 32-yard line of Texas Tech, and the give is to Joe Moore, and Moore slides away, gets the first down, still in bounds, and dive, touchdown Oklahoma, on a brilliant run by freshman Joe Moore. What better to illustrate the great talent they have at halfback and the great reason to do that option like you mentioned, Dick, than let's flip it out and see if the other young guy can do it. We got a little quarterback. First down at the 22. All trying to avoid the rush. And his pass is tipped and intercepted. Terrell Peters, a penalty marker is down after the interception. And there's a... And that trophy that goes to the winner here, the John Hancock Bowl is named after Jimmy Rogers. Yeah, this is the first class set up here in El Paso. Jimmy Rogers is a high class individual and there probably isn't a community, really I think in the country, that gets behind and more excited behind, about their bowl game than here in El Paso. For, for a week or two of every year, this is El Paso. Well, yesterday when you were delivering the main address at the luncheon, you were, you kind of, uh, football. <laughs> New quarterback for the Sooners is Terrence Brown. And on the option play, Brown with good speed. Brown inside the 40-yard line. And the freshman from Fort Bend, Texas, in the first play, runs 33 yards. Finally brought down by Metric McHenry. Sooners get a, yet another score as time runs down and Gary Gibbs is Oklahoma Sooners rolling it up. So 41 to 10 is the final score. 
as Oklahoma wins the John Hancock Bowl. So for Randy Cross and Pat O'Brien, I'm Dick Stockton saying so long from El Paso. The final score, Oklahoma 41, Texas Tech 10. Be sure to join Steve.